Welcome to Walk and Talk with the special guest, you, Coach Essek. First question for you is, what's your uh, favorite food? Uh, love a steak. Yeah. Uh, smoking something, so some sort of brisket, something like that. I'm a big, big cheeseburger guy. I've got a, got a thing where I go, go places and, and get a cheeseburger yeah. wherever I can. No doubt. And then next question for you is, what's your go-to song or music? Um, just depends on the mood. Kind of yeah. depends on what, what I, what I want to do if I'm getting ready for a game or something like that. It's probably some, some, some hip hop, some rap from, from, from when I was growing up or when I was, uh, when I was younger. So like yeah. Wayne or somebody like that. And then, sure. uh, if I'm just chilling, it's probably some country music. Luke Combs, gotcha. Something like gotcha. That. Makes sense. And with that, we'll head to the pod. Peace. <laughs> All right, welcome back to The Patrick Show. This is episode 16, season two here on The Patrick Show. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as we continue to make more of these episodes with these exciting guests alongside me today being with Coach Essek. It's a pri privilege and honor having you here on the show. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the floor here. Share with us, introduce yourself, and just, yeah, where you've been along the journey. Okay. Um, this is my ninth year in coaching. Mm -hmm. um, I've been at Oak Grove. This, was, this is my third year at Oak Grove. I've been in and around the Midway and Wahlberg area mm -hmm. um, outside of the triad for um, my, my whole life. Uh, this is my ninth year coaching, um, coaching basketball specifically. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've been a golf coach for, for now, now for three years here, and this, this was the first place that I coached golf. I'm an avid golfer on, kind of on the side, but really, yes, um, really, really fell in love with coaching the game of basketball, played basketball growing up. Mm -hmm. um, so from, that, from the area, you right. know, gl glad, to, glad to be. This, this place feels like home. Uh, a little, little fun fact about me, I grew up, uh, before this place was built, I grew up on Hoi Long Road, which is okay. literally right there. Yeah, right down the street. Um, so it's across the road. I used to ride my bike to the end of the road, and this was all like, like a farm. So uh -huh. it's so it kind of wild being here. Uh, it, was a, it was a surreal moment getting this job here uh, a couple years ago. So it's, it's, been, it's, it's, been, it's come full circle, but I'm, yeah. I'm happy to be here. Oak Grove's definitely home for me. Absolutely. Love to hear that. And before we continue on any further, as always here on The Patrick Show, we'll uh, start off with a prayer. So if you don't mind, let's go ahead and bow our heads. Father God, I give all praise and honor to your name, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity, the blessings that you give each and every one of us each and every day, Lord. I ask that we be grateful for it. As it says in Luke 15, verse 4, as it's referencing to the 99 sheep and the one that was lost and gone astray, Lord. I ask that we can humble ourselves and know that we at times, we sinners are those that are that is that one lost sheep lord that you being our shepherd that you can continue to guide us into the right direction lord that you can be the author you can be the teacher you can be the coach in our life lord i ask that throughout this podcast throughout this day lord that we can continue to give all praise and honor to your name in the lord's name we pray amen amen and um as always here, after the prayer, we start off with the hot take. So right. Coach Essek, clearly with your track record, nine years coaching, as well as not only a varsity head coach for basketball program, but as well as a golf coach, my first question for you is, which sport do you find the most interest in when, when it comes to coaching? Um, uh, that's, that's a, I, I joked with you before, yeah. you know, that's, I think that's, um, I think that's, a, that's an easy one uh -huh. for me. It's, it's, they're they're both very unique in, right. in what they ask as far as you know my my role and kind of mm -hmm. how um, I approach it. I think definitely uh, I got into teaching and coaching to coach basketball. Yes, sir. Um, and so that's kind of that's kind of where you know where I where I hang my hat. Uh -huh. um, I love it. What the the, the golf mm -hmm. um, the job and, and that that coaching experience. Um, I knew that when I was hired here to teach, mm -hmm. um, I was wanting to be a basketball coach certainly I didn't know mm -hmm. where that would land me right. um, but I figured if I was here mm -hmm. when the late Vaughn Black was it whenever he he retired yeah um, and he was ready to, to be done with golf I'd probably have an opportunity to, to take over the golf program and I was sure. excited about that at the time but my my my, my main focus was always on basketball mm -hmm. that being said um, with the, with the late passing of, of coach Black right um, I took it really to heart because he was kind of a. I had I had come across Coach Black mm -hmm. um, in in my own personal endeavors in my own personal life and kind of got to know him and then stepping into this building and seeing kind of the impact he had here, um, then his tragic passing. Right. Um, 
it, it's been really an honor to kind of continue his his legacy in the Absolutely. golf. So um, as far as my coaching stuff, the X's mm -hmm. and O's, and kind of I, I run pretty hot. So yeah. I, I so it, I can get kind of all that out in basketball season and golf season rolls around, and I can <laughs> drive the bus. I can play a little bit myself. I'm an avid right. golfer myself. Um, and then I can kind of kind of pull 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 the parachute out a little bit and just kind of coast. So it's fun, but um, they they both require different stuff. I love mm -hmm. basketball, but I, I like being around the game of golf, yeah. and especially being able to continue and to, to build on what what Coach Black had started here. So absolutely, I, I love that. You know, c carry on the tradition, the history of sure. what uh, yeah. Coach uh, Black was able to do was beautiful to say the least. And now kind of carrying forward now, and we'll talk about basketball yeah, as yeah. you mentioned, yeah. and this past season, which it had had plentiful achievements, you know, tying the most wins in basketball program history, uh, reaching the playoffs and first time yep. here at Oak Grove as your first time as a head coach is phenomenal. Yep. And I got to ask you, what was some of the things you saw when you first evaluate the full season? Well, I was, um, I, I will say, for, first of all, when, yep. when, I, when I stepped into it, I was really lucky. Not, not many people get the opportunity to step into that when you have coached mm -hmm. a lot of those kids as younger guys, as JV guys. So me being able to step, step mm -hmm. up with them was, was, a, was a blessing for my Correct. first year. You know, uh, looking back in hindsight, there's so many things that you can, you can evaluate and look mm -hmm. at, and there's so many things that I, I can get better at. And um, what that evaluation process looks yeah. like, you sit down and watch some game film. I've tried to give myself a little bit of grace and mm -hmm. kind of step back and not – not beat myself up or, or, or beat them up, you know, be, be, be super picky. There's a time and a place for that, and that's going to come over the next couple of weeks. But yeah. um, just, just my immediate thoughts, my immediate feedback mm -hmm. um, would be uh, I'm proud of the guys, proud of the effort. I think that we got better. Right. Um, we, we set some goals, albeit they weren't, they weren't super lofty. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to see them play hard, compete, uh, be able to mentally grasp the things that I'm asking them to do. Um, whether that was something that they've been exposed to before, whether it was totally different, you know, me having a lot of these guys in JV, mm -hmm. um, I thought that we were very young. Yeah. Um, so, so only having uh, one senior on the team, mm -hmm. uh, Peyton. Peyton means a lot to me because he was here for um, uh, my my first year here and played played for me as a, as a sophomore. So it's it, yeah. it, it was it was exciting to watch some of the growth, some of the the, the maturation, some guys being able to step into situation. We hit a game winning shot against our crosstown rival. Um, we beat. You know, some, some teams that, we had, that we've never beaten before. We beat Trinity mm -hmm. at Trinity, which going there and beating, uh, I said, like I said, I run pretty hot. Yeah. Um, there was a fish, there was a, there was a bad call. I thought it was a bad call, which I guess <laughs> anything, anything against us, I, I think it's a bad call. Um, and it was uh, Coach, Coach Tim Kelly there has like 600 plus wins and he's got a banner up on the wall. And I oh pointed my. up at the official and I said, I know he's got, got a thousand wins and wow. I know this is, this is my first time doing it, but yeah. you guys got to take care of me a little bit. Um, so going there and being able to compete and, mm -hmm. and to beat that team in Coach Kelly's last year, that was an honor because I played against Coach Kelly uh, myself. So that, that was fun seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, so so we, we were able to do a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna, I've, I've kind of just had a, a broad paintbrush looked over it and said, I'm, I'm proud of the steps that we took. The job's certainly not done. I've got to get better. They've got to get better. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's gonna be a lot on these guys that, are, that will now be seniors. They've got a full year under their, under their belt. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited about the growth and the things I've seen, yeah. and I'm, I'm ready to get back after it. So. Yeah, absolutely. And with that evaluation, clearly, as you mentioned, there was m many trips and many roads of bumps and hills, yeah. you can say. And going forward, I guess I want to first mention a little bit about the in-conference of play. Sure. And, I mean, I, as you mentioned before, being sort of in the middle of the boat but having – a younger team give us a little bit of those you know tough battles that you played out through and obviously of course Leffert uh, where you've originally played yeah, mention yeah. about those games as well um so being middle of the road you know I, I was I was um, fully expecting the, the the bunch that was at Central Davidson mm -hmm. coach against as a JV bunch and watch them watch the things that they do yeah. um, I've, I've known coach Ty Seeger through both my personal life and in my coaching career mm -hmm. of while I knew, knew he's doing good stuff I knew that they were going to have a really really strong group mm -hmm. um, so it was going to be fun to compete against them we yeah. had got some personal relationships with some of our kids or actually cousins with some of their kids so, uh, we, so, so we've got some personal relationships there between the two programs yeah um, but, uh, an, an extension from there mm -hmm. uh, Ashborough's got uh, I think our district player of the year in in, in Jaquarius Standback, so he he's going to play at App. So I knew that mm. we were going to have a tough wow. uh, a tough task there, and he was he's fun to watch. I think in one of the conference tournament games, he had 39 points. Um, so so he's he's a good player in his own right. I knew I knew our task was was going to be tough. Yeah. I want to see how we respond. Um, one of the main things when I interviewed for the job was I, I wanted the guys to to show a lot of pride wearing 
you know, the, no the, the, the Oak Grove jersey. Um, and I thought that, that as we went, we, we certainly did that. Mm -hmm. So our first game here, uh, we, we led Ashboro at halftime. They turned around mm -hmm. to, to have, have a, re a really successful season in their own right. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with Central Davidson. Um, we went across the road and we were a little banged up when we played North the first time, but the second time we mm -hmm. played them here and we beat them. Right. Um, and then uh, the, 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 the Ledford game, I knew going into it, mm -hmm. um, that that it was going to be personal for me. I was trying to trying to put that out of the way because at the end of the day, I can I can lead and I can direct. I can yeah. fuss. I can cheer. I can do all that stuff that, that the coaches do. Mm -hmm. But um, I knew at the end of the day, it was going to be up to them to to, to take that challenge, and Correct. they and and they did that twice. So right. I, I was really 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 excited about watching them find success. Mm -hmm. It was very fitting. Uh, Peyton being the, the, the guy that he is, he stepped in for us and, and hit two big free throws to beat him for the first time yeah. in this building. So that was fun. Um, and then we turned around and played him again the first round of the conference tournament and we were able to do it again. So right. um, I, I, was, I was proud of our season, proud, yeah. of, our, proud of our conference and, and our accomplishments, yeah. um, but certainly got, got, got some room to grow. And I'm excited about, about taking the challenge myself, help, mm. helping lead them, and just excited to watch them kind of take that challenge and flourish. Yeah. So. I mean, that's very exciting, as you mentioned. And before we fast forward to the future, I want to give it back and talk about the playoff. How was that uh, for the, the team, the community, being its first time? Uh, ever? Super exciting. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I said multiple times, no, no, no disparaging remarks to, to, to anything that, that went on before. But you know, I was like, you know, there's there's plenty of teams all throughout North Carolina that are that are not playing basketball right now. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so when, whenever we had qualified for that, I watched East, East Henderson play a bunch of film. Mm -hmm. So did they. Um, one of our leaders and my point guard, Lucas Schoff, when, when we walked in the building and we yeah. saw them and they saw us, he was like, I don't think this is the draw that they want to coach with a smile mm. on his face. So we had a lot of confidence going into that. And yeah. that, this isn't a bunch that lacks confidence, but at times we, uh, we, we lack some direction and focus. But that's, mm. that's just that's a part of high school ball. Correct. Um, it was exciting, you know. We, we got to got to travel up the mountain. That's a that's a three hours and some change bus ride. So nice we, trip. So right it, it is. So we so we took a charter bus, which uh -huh. is which is another cool thing. You know, the guys got out early from school. So you, like when you when you add in all those memories, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, we want to make memories, and I want to watch them grow in that's the game good. of basketball. But um, it, it's it's fun watching them make memories because I know that those are things I know when you know in my my basketball career, I've got some memories and things that I really really enjoyed, and I can look back and and smile or or not be so happy about whatever yeah. you know whatever it is, but nonetheless, they're making memories. So mm -hmm. that was fun to kind of just be a part of. Not necessarily lead, not necessarily, you know, stand behind and push them forward, but kind of just got all doing it together. So it was my, it was my first experience as, as a head coach too. So that, yeah. was, that was a fun, big step for a program. So now, now we check that box. So let, yeah. Let's, you know, let's move on. Let's, let's win some yeah. games in the playoffs too. So that's, Absolutely. that's the next one. I, lo I love that, those goals and mindset going forward. And then like when I was looking at the, uh, the box score of that game, being mm -hmm. up at first quarter, that's mind blowing. And I mean, I've clearly y'all, y'all hanged in there all all the way to yeah. the finish, just losing by under 10, by yeah. under 10. So it was definitely a competitive matchup no for the whole way, all four quarters. And now we'll talk about the upcoming year. As you mentioned before, a very young team with only one senior, as you mentioned, Peyton. What do you what do you foresee? What do you foreshadow heading forward uh, this upcoming year? Um, I think this will be, and this was a challenge for me. Um, this is going to be the deepest basketball team that I've ever coached. So mm -hmm. that'll so that's fun. I got a lot of guys who bring a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm going to expect Lucas to to handle a lot of the ball handling duties and do a lot of stuff sure. when it when it comes to that. So he's going to be one of one of our leaders. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but, but we, we've got a lot of pieces, you know, right. I, I, our, our conference and kind of the landscape of what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. You never know. I, I don't want to compare high school basketball to, to, uh, the, the transfer portal or yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. that, but, the, but there's certainly a look, some, 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 some of that going on with, with guys choosing to do what they think is best for them, that's which is, which, which is, which yeah. is, is what it is. Um, so, so you never, so you never know. So, um, right. I'm excited about the, about the guys that are, that are, that are taking pride in wearing the Oak Grove jersey, and they, they want to come in the, and they, they want to be here, they want to play, uh, they want to get better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going to have some guys step into their senior year. They've yeah. got high expectations. Um, I know two juniors were all conference, Max Hurt and Lucas Show. so expect those guys to just score the basketball for us, be able to defend. We've got a, a long list of guys. We've got some younger guys that are freshmen now that are probably mm -hmm. going to step into some meaningful minutes. 
Um, mm, and then and then we've got some some JV guys that have kind of grown up. Um, so it's it, it's it's going to be exciting. I, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be a task for me to be yeah. able to make sure that I'm I'm putting guys in positions to be successful. Um, I'm I'm looking for a, a strong year. You know, yeah. we, I when when I took the job, I want to compete for conference championships. I want to be realistic. Uh, you know, I want to say in order for us to to be able to make it to the level to be able to compete for conference championships mm -hmm. and to win, then, then then we've got to really really work at it. We got right. to be willing to check every little little tiny box we can. Um, It'll be it'll be a tough task because because I think that there's a lot of good coaches in our conference too. Mm -hmm. So it'll be kind of up to how yeah. how everything shakes out. I'm excited to watch these guys grow into their senior year and the younger ones take that challenge and, and keep this thing rolling. No doubt. And as you mentioned before, that's exciting. And I'm sure myself and many others will be sure to fill up these uh, fa the st stadiums as the the season turns around shortly. And now carrying forward, obviously now we're in the spring here yep. and this golf season now for you. Uh, carry away and talk to us a little bit about how the seasons look so forward being first and I, I'm not mistaken three or four events so yeah far. so um, golf so high school golf for, yeah. for those that, that, that don't know you play five guys and you only count four of the scores mm. um, so we've got two two young guys um, one is is a is a pretty highly touted junior golfer. There, I've got several that are that are really good, really strong junior golfers. Mm -hmm. um, one of them played in the in the, in the Nota Begay Invitational, which is mm. um, Nota himself was a former PGA guy. Um, he played in it, um, played alongside his mom. Sent me a picture. Uh, probably 20 yards away on the driving range was Charlie Woods with his dad down on one wow. knee. So, so, so Tiger was caddying for Charlie. That's Aiden, impressive. Aiden played in that event um, and, and and played very well. Yeah. Um, so we actually last night was our our third conference no yeah it was our it was our third conference match okay. um and so we've got a current 55 stroke margin is, is our is our is our current margin <laughs> um and i say ours it's mostly them i just i try to facilitate and, uh -huh. and cheer on and talk a little junk and and other than, yeah, other than that yeah, yeah. I, I i i do a lot of do a lot of hanging out and supporting um this this is a really special group you know there's mm -hmm. some across our, our 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 state there's there's a couple really strong programs um that can compete but I think this group's got their eyes set on, on competing yeah. for a state championship. We won our region last year. Mm -hmm. We play at the exact same course uh, this year in our region, regional, excuse me. So that'll, that'll be what qualifies us for a state championship. Mm -hmm. We want it, we'd like to put another trophy in, in the trophy case and Completely. hopefully go compete for yeah. a state championship. So yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, that's exciting. And yeah. it seems like we got a bright future ahead of us. And then I got to ask, you know, since I'm not the most knowledgeable with golf, sure. what does the golf uh, like coaching process go about throughout the season? How's that look so, for you? So for, so for me and what that, it's kind of a running joke, you know, mm -hmm. well, you know, we're, we're bus drivers or we don't do this. <laughs> me, me, myself, you know, I like to, uh, I, 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 like I said, I, I play a lot of golf in, right. in my spare time. So if I can provide any insight or do anything with them. It, it does involve me playing a lot. And so I'll play against Aiden. We'll play some team stuff. We'll do some team stuff out on the golf there course go. to kind of make it competitive. Right. Um, but he's he's not the only one we have. We had yesterday, we shot we shot two under as a team. So that's four mm. scores. So that means four. I had two guys shoot even par and then two guys shot one under nice. a piece, which was which is a really, really strong score for a high school team. Mm -hmm. um, so proud of, proud of watching them. N not going to take any credit for it. I got them there safely on, on the bus, but um, <laughs> I did uh, I did I did take a meet after and I was congrat I was there congratulatory. I, I, I try to pick them up when they're down, try to um, as far as the coaching stuff, you know, a lot a lot of the nitpicky stuff about yardages and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, other th other than that, kind of kind of let them do their thing, get off of words of encouragement. Sometimes yeah. they got to you know, re redirect or get get some attitudes right. checked. But other than that, um, um, I, I like to, I like to to watch and facilitate and um, um, just watch them succeed. So yeah, fun. completely agree with you. And, and you know, maybe one day you might have to take me to the yeah, course. Yeah, man, you know, we, we can do it. Perfect my swing a little we bit. Can do it. But uh, carrying on, I gotta ask you, uh, what are some college or professional teams you follow, whether it's uh, basketball? Yeah. Or um, so. I went to I went to NC State. Ended up graduating from UNCG. So I, okay. uh, there there for a little while. Um, Wes Miller was at UNCG, and I remember passing him in the hallways. I was a, I'm an exercise science major mm -hmm. um, and kind of a science guy by by by, by day trade. Mm -hmm. um, so seeing Coach Miller at the time and watching him growing up, watching him play at right. Carolina was was pretty cool. 
Um, I, for a long time, my dad coached basketball at Ledford prior to John Rawls, who had a long mm. tenured career there with, with the, the ladies of, of Ledford. Um, so my dad and I, we used to sit down and watch some of the Roy Williams and Coach K battles. So uh, yeah. I respected the Tobacco Road basketball. Mm -hmm. NC State went on a crazy run. So, yeah, I, so, I'm, so I'm right now, I'm a wolf pack in the house and, you know, uh, so excited about that. Uh, as far as football goes, I'm a Carolina Panther, but I hate to hate that right now, man. It's, <laughs> hate it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, on the it's, downfall. Yeah, bit, yeah, but yeah. I guess there's nowhere to go but up but, um, yeah. For, yeah. for them. But <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a Carolina Panther. At heart, um, and then and then just I, I'm a tobacco road basketball. Whether it's you know when Chris Paul was at Wake and watching that 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 stuff growing up, right. or whether it's you know Raymond Felton at Carolina and JJ Redick, and then now stepping into kind of this new age with, with Zion and some of these guys, right. like Cooper Flag going to Duke, it's going to be fun to watch. So yeah. I just for a long time when I was younger, I was kind of sitting and watching X's and X's and O's of basketball. And now right. I do it even more. So I'm trying to just in, I sit back and enjoy it, and I don't yeah. I don't I like to have a fanfare, but but for now. Uh, Wolfpack all yeah. the way for sure. I hear you. I hear you. A local guy. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, like, there's plenty of talent r within the state of North Carolina. And like I said, I, I'm a fan of obviously, oh, I wouldn't say a Wolfpack necessarily. Yeah. A Duke guy. But, I, I got you. Uh, I got you. Cooper Flag, and, you know, we, we can carry forth with the talent that they, this brought all around the area. Yeah. And, it's fun um, to watch. It's fun, it's fun, fun to watch. Fun to, watch. Fun, fun to cheer for or yeah. against whatever whatever side you want to take. It's fun. Right. To, it's fun to be a part of. Fun no to doubt. watch around around this area yeah. for sure. I agree. And then now that kind of leads to our big time question. Are you ready for that? Sure. Question? What you got? All right. So the big time question here on the Patrick Show is for you, Coach. What we mentioned, what you envision for the team going forward, but what are the end goal? What what do you what would you like to see? for whether it be on the basketball program or golf program? Well, uh, I'll quickly touch on the golf thing. I think by, yeah. the, by the time they're done, um, I, I want to see them reach their goals. And, and their goals are to win a state championship. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not a, 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 a hopeful um, by, by any means, but I think that there's a reality to that. They're gonna have to put in a lot of work. Right. I'm gonna have to support that work in, in every way that I can, whatever that looks like, whether that's taking them to Dario after they have a good night or, yeah. <laughs> you know, or fussing at them when they're, when they're clowning around on driving range, whatever that is. Right. So for the golf team, I, I truly want them to win a state championship for, mm -hmm. for them because those guys have spent a lot of time of their individual work. Um, you know, yeah. on the golf program and I'm excited to just f facilitate that and just just kind of be around and watch them and celebrate them totally. um, as for the as for the basketball program um, it's 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 simple I think here mm -hmm. um, I, I this this is this is my home I, I feel like it you know mm -hmm. it was a blessing like I said growing up across the street and right. now it's kind of it was kind of a, an epiphany the day that I was mm -hmm. off the job and accepted um, I had to step out and collect myself a little bit because yeah. it was it's kind of surreal because that was a goal of mine and having it be, you know, right beside my childhood home, right. that was, a, that was a, a, a hard thing for me to wrap my head around. Um, I want to take pride in this. I do take pride in this. I, you know, I, I take this stuff to heart. Right. I t it, it means a lot to me. Um, and I, I want to compete for conference championships. Right. You know, I think that this area is very competitive with, with the likes of, of the people across the train tracks. Right. And, then, and, then, and then my, my alma mater, mm -hmm. um, Fun fact about my alma mater: This is the this senior class is the last group of kids that I had any coaching experience with. So not certainly mm. not trying to cut ties. That's not not necessarily what I mean. But yeah, it yeah. is easier for me to compartmentalize. Um, I, I'm an I'm an Oak Grove guy through and through. Um, mm. But it's just been kind of fun as, as my maturation as as a as a professional and as a young man into growing up, you know, in, into into my own professional career sure. and to and, and accomplishing my coaching goals. It's going to be fun to. To, to step through those, we compete against these teams. We'll see mm -hmm. kind of our, our classifications in you know, the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. That landscape is changing a little bit with mm -hmm. who we're going to play and what our yeah. conference is going to look like. But I think um, I, want, I, want, I want to compete. You know, I want the people who, who walk in here, um, the guys who have graduated, mm -hmm. um, who have previously played in this program, um, you know, these, these communities, the, the parents, the, the young men, yeah. uh, myself, my parents, um, our, our coaches, our coaching staff, you know, our, my administration, athletic director, I, everybody takes pride in this, mm -hmm. you know, in, in this place. And um, I'm fortunate to be here and fortunate to, to have the reins to a program that I think is headed in a good direction. I'm going to do my best and some nights that, that, that may not be enough, but, you know, that's, that's a part of sport and that's why right. you do it. If, 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 if all we did, I say it all the time, um, you never know how much fun winning is until you know what losing is like. So, mm. um, I like that. Yeah, so it's um, so so you got to you got to experience adversity in order to, to overcome that and to to learn how to win. And I yeah. tell him all the time, you know, learning to win basketball games is 
not is a learned trait. It's not something you just wake up one day and you just know. Yeah. Um, so, and I think we're headed in the right direction. I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. I've got to work at it. I got to get better myself. We can always, we can all, we can all of us can can always get better right. at, at our at at our um, at our craft. And so yeah. I'm 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 working at it, and I'm excited to see. So I'm, yeah. I want to compete for conference championships and hopefully hang some stuff on the walls in this in this room we're sitting in. No doubt, no doubt. I love the answer. Well rounded, of course. And uh, before we continue, as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the merchandise as we're soon to be making a website. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna give you floor one more time. Just share with the audience any words of encouragement, shout outs, just anything you like. Uh, no, nah, I mean, I, I would shout out to, to my administration, to, to, yeah. to my, my coaching staff. Um, to, to all, the, to all the, the parents and the families that have worked at it, the, mm -hmm. the guys that have come before them that, that, have, that have laid a, a foundation. Right. Um, working at it, you know, I, like I said, I, I want to take pride in it. I'm excited about it and, mm -hmm. and bear down for yeah. sure. Bear down. There you have it. And as we head out, we'll just say peace on three. Sounds good with you? Sounds good. Sounds good. One, two, three. Peace. peace.